It's a mental battle like no other. Golf is, there's a lot of mental toughness that's needed because there's a lot of rejection and one guy is only happy every week. There are so many people competing for the same prize. Really does seem like you're fighting against all odds. If you don't play well, you're not making money. So it's kind of important to be able to budget your money and be cautious with those things. The mental task of grinding it out on the mini tours is something that I don't think I'll ever fully be able to comprehend. How many miles is it done? 147,000. It's cruising. You're grinding whatever you do. Hopefully, you're, that means you're working hard, right? And that's the key for me right now is what I've been trying to work on is my controlling my tempo, right? Put my speed control better. And I watch Josh and I know how good Josh is and I see him play and I think he's the favorite every time he tees it up. I love playing golf. I love competing more than anything. This is the 10-24 tee time featuring Josh Anderson. I want to win every turn I play and I want to beat everyone, but at the same time, it's like, some things are out of your control. You have to bring it every week if you want to make it onto the PGA Tour, if you want to make it onto the Corn Ferry Tour. I don't care what anyone says, like you play 36 and you're focused and stressed out for a day. Yes, it's just golf at the end of the day, but once you commit so much of your life to it, I completely understand why Josh hasn't given up yet. Is Brett here yet? No. Um, your caddy? Yeah. I'll give this to you for him to wear. This okay. will give both of you lunch access. Okay. Is there is there breakfast in the clubhouse? It's not in the clubhouse. If you go down the path to the right, you'll see it. It's on the other side of where this whole setup is. Okay, thank you. I've, I've never wanted something more that I was not directly involved in than Josh playing in that US Open. Well, my dad was a, he was a teaching professional. Earliest memory, I think, yeah, I've been three or four. I remember going to the range and hitting balls where he taught in uh, Mission Viejo. Crying when he'd take me to, when we'd have to leave. I played baseball, was, I was probably a better baseball player growing up than I was a golfer. They were both spring sports, so you couldn't really play both, so I ended up choosing golf. Josh Anderson beginning his third and final round at the NCAA championship. I mean, I had a pretty good college career. I wasn't All-American my last year. Can you put into words what these last four years have been like for you? Um, I mean, it's, I'm very blessed to be able to go to school here and, you know, be on scholarship and play golf for Pepperdine and for coach. And, you know, I'm just fortunate that uh, I was able to have a good career as well. And, you know, I'm, I'm looking forward to the next step. And I always wanted to play professional golf. I had my mind made up since I was a kid. I, that's what I was going to attempt to do. So getting your tour card is, is incredibly difficult. It takes playing a lot of good golf consistently at the right time. There are multiple ways to get it, and Josh has been grinding it out for that opportunity for years now. He's played in PGA Tour qualifiers. He's played in Corn Ferry Tour Monday qualifiers. He goes to Q School every single year. But this, this is a chance at the US Open uh, and for Josh to play on the biggest stage. How important is a local qualifier? I'd say it's one of the most important tournaments a year just from an opportunity standpoint because you can qualify for a major championship. It was a very tough course. I don't think Josh was aware of how close he was to qualifying. I just I just try and put my head down and play and just where it falls it falls. There was a shot on the 17th and at this point I'm thinking it's game over. I shanked it yeah off the tee I shanked it way right um, well, shanked a foreign. That was quite the shot. And then I ended up getting up and down. It was an incredible up and down. I think I had like 80 yards. <laughs> it was probably one of the worst shots I've ever hit in a golf tournament, actually. Um, but then I still made par, which is crazy. Is there a larger sense of achievement winning in the playoff? 
than if you were to just walk off the 18th hole and have no qualifier? No, no. I'd rather, I'd take walking off the 18th hole and knowing you qualified every time. Oh, what a shot. I made it a hole one. Hole one. Hole one. Did I go in? Whoa. It's about <laughs> six inches from the hole. Oh, a great shot. Oh my God. My role with Josh is to support him in any way I can. Sometimes I say I, I manage him. I'm, I'm back in manager mode now. I'm just watching. Sometimes it's just more of uh, someone, to, someone to talk to, someone, a su support system. I love playing golf. I love competing more than anything. But I mean, do I love um, traveling and, and grind on the grind? No. Uh, I embrace it, but it's not, I don't think it's something anyone particularly truly love. How'd you sleep, Josh? I slept good. Yeah, I slept well. Just a proper English. For a proper English Thank you. Man. Thank you for doing that. Josh has, has been at this for so long, and he's been at this for 12 years as a professional, and he knows what he's doing out there. It's challenging to stay in a routine or have somewhat of a normal life. You're not working at an office. Your office is moving in different places. We're going to, for the first round of the Good Good Championship. It's, it's just a struggle, family life or whatnot, because you're traveling a lot, and it takes a special kind of person to be involved in that. I've seen his dedication grow to the game, and I see that from not his willingness to play, but his willingness to improve outside of his golf. My outlook on golf in general in the last couple of years has changed a lot, yeah, and what that looks like to me. A majority of my life, my identity is wrapped up in golf on like the outcome of events. I've won the California State Open as well as the California State Amateur. So I've won both of the tournaments that are hosted in this state, which is a kind of a cool feat. But I don't know that a lot of people have, I'm bragging, I guess, but I don't think a lot of people have done that. That kind of find who I was as a person. And I, I don't think that's healthy. Sometimes it's nice to not play golf too. You play golf all the time. But it's fun. It's always fun to be out here. Fun to be on a course that you've golfed a hundred times. A hundred, probably five thousand times. I love playing golf. Like I, I really enjoy that, and I enjoy competing. But if our identity is all in that one thing, it's really hard to be fulfilled because you're going to be left empty no matter what. But I've seen him improve. I've seen his play improve. I've seen his confidence improve. I think that's the big thing. I think he has been given this platform and this ability to go play as much golf as he can play, um, as much golf as he's willing to play. And I'll tell you one thing, that's Josh is willing to play golf. After securing your spot, uh, and headed into sectionals. What was your mindset going into that? Did you know the course beforehand? No, I didn't. I went on there and played it a few times. Um, I knew a guy that was a member there that had me out, which was great. So I was able to get a couple rounds in. And um, I don't know, I'd been playing well. I just was like, man, if I just go play my game, I think I can qualify. From Murrieta, California, Josh. Anderson. I've been to sectionals a lot. I think sometimes you put this emphasis on playing the play so well when it's not as hard as you think um, at sectionals if you had the right mindset. Usually, if you go shoot eight under for two rounds or nine under for two rounds, you're usually going to get through. Um, not always. Yeah, I keep my circle tight and then they hear in piercing. I look like a bag of money I'm on. They want to know what I'm on. Diamonds dancing on my neck. That is the vibe I'm on. Drip. Way too lit. Who gon' check? You can tell me not.
mentally it can wear you down and you get, you get tired. It does, I don't care what anyone says. Like you play 36 and you're focused and stressed out for a day. It's a long day. It's, it's definitely probably one of the longest days in golf, but it's something you kind of have to embrace because you know everyone's in the same boat. Like not everyone's out there ecstatic and having full energy or not tired as well. So it's something you just kind of like, all right, I'm going to try and accept it and do my best and then just outlast everyone. There wasn't much daylight, um, so they decided to come back the next morning and play. I, w I wanted to play um, at that moment just because, like, I felt like I was playing well. And um, But, I mean, once again, what, what can you do? It's like, <laughs> I want to play. <laughs> well, we're not going to play. We're going to come back tomorrow. So it's kind of like, it was, it was interesting because I don't think I've ever been a playoff where you had to come back the next morning. I don't think anyone's super comfortable in playoffs because they know like, you know, if you have a bad hole, you, you're gonna lose, so. But it's something you kind of have to embrace because you know everyone's in the same boat. I think if you just keep that mindset, that's what I tried to do there was just, I'm just gonna go, I'm not gonna try to do anything special, just play normal golf. I, I felt it, I felt like he was gonna play in that event. Everything in my bones was just saying, yes, he's gonna tee it up um, and this is gonna be life-changing for him. I had my opportunity, I didn't do it. Like, so I left it in someone else's control. It's over so quickly when that last tea time takes place and, and you have that realization that you're just not gonna tee it up and Josh isn't gonna get to play. I'd say the most painful thing was that it was like, other than Torrey Pines, like that was like the US Open basically in my hometown. In fact, not that LA is my hometown, but home area, you know? From that point onwards, you sort of, how can I, you say to yourself, how can I assist and be a support system to Josh after going through this devastating gut punch? So Josh was offered to go to, to Europe. And we did a repeat of what we did in Albuquerque in New Mexico for the US Open. Uh, and we did the local qualifying there. So that was a cool experience. Uh, it's kind of middle of nowhere. But it was certainly a learning curve going over there. The ground was so firm. Um, I actually really like Lynx Golf, but there's definitely some nuances. And the greens putt a little different, which is they're a lot slower. Um, so there's some interesting dynamics to golf over there, but it's, it's how the game was created and where it was started. We get through qualifying. Um, I hit a great shot, a tee shot there, and it rolled 90 yards into the bunker, and it was like terrible bunker to be in again. Just rolled and rolled and rolled and rolled, and and to make it bogey, and yeah, that was that was it. Losing in that playoff, I immediately thought, oh no, he's he's done it again, and how is that going to impact Josh? Some of the benefits to golf is that uh, it's just you. Uh, and you have the, it's you against everyone else and no one can help you. You gotta be resilient, man, be tough. I think the best way to put it is you have to be comfortable being uncomfortable. Next up for our overall champion this year, um, we came in with a round of 65 today in the final round and a, a 204 overall for three days. Uh, Josh Anderson out of Goodyear, Arizona. I said personally, in my will and my own understanding, I was like, man, if I'm 32, 33, 34, 
35, still trying to play. And I'm not at where I think I should be. I don't plan on doing that. And yet, here I am. I think I'm definitely the best golfer, the best at golf currently than I've ever been. So I, I feel confident in saying that. I don't know what the future holds, but I think I'm, I'm content with where I'm at right now. And I'm just gonna try and do the best I can.